Oh, I'm getting a right collection here. They sound kind of scratchy and yeah, not you know they sound like lead basically. <laughs> yeah, another cross keys ones. That's two now. Getting a nice little collection of lead seals. It's a Russian flax seal, sometimes they've got a date on. Oh, yeah, 1805. And then you've got all the Cyrillic writing. I believe from these letters here you can tell where it's come from in Russia. But yeah, that's a cool find. I don't mind them, they look nice. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. Well, that's how deep it was, so sort of pinpoint a length, scratchy signal. And it's that. I don't know if you can see, but I think that's a bus facing, sorry, that side, that's a bus facing to the left. And on that side, there's a harp. So I think that's some sort of, like a Hibernian halfpenny or something. So maybe George II might not get anything off that. I think that detail will just disappear. But we're finding some stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll keep going. I've, I've been on this field a few times before. I've not had that much, like a few... Uh, a couple of silvers, Georgian silvers, so you never know. Yeah, I think I've got another one, but I've not seen one with a pattern on like this before. Let's give it a little wipe. Oh, look at that, how cool is that? Oh, it's, um... The crossed keys. So I'm not sure if, if that is a flax seal, but it's sort of same thickness. It's blank on that side, but it's crossed keys on that side. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Right, this was a massive signal. I thought it was going to be junk, but good old cartwheel penny, I think. Still about four inches down at least. So we're sort of, yeah, we're finding those early 1800s things. I'm not sure we'll get any detail off that, but it's a good sign, isn't it? Right, I'm getting a right collection here. They sound kind of scratchy and... Yeah, not... You know, they sound like lead, basically. Yeah, another cross keys ones. That's two now. Getting a nice little... Collection of lead seals. That's nice. We've got an edge here, guys. And they're just something anyway, not silver. That could be interesting. Right, let's break it open. After all that, I think it's just a button. Finding quite a lot of buttons, Georgian sort of style buttons. So that's the sort of age range we're looking at. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, getting a bit ridiculous now. That one's a nice one. Oh, well, I don't think I'll show you anymore. <laughs> 1830 something. But they are pretty. I like that Cyrillic writing. Come on, let's find some silvers. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely silver because I can see the hallmarks. Let's have a look. Well, it was only little, but it sounded like this. 78? Let's get it out. There you go. Don't know what it is. Pretty sure they're hallmarks though. Tint to it. Maybe it's off a walking cane or something like that, but... Silver, silver. And I've been over this area loads of times, but I've got it in... Um, uh, sensitive full tones and I've whacked it down to two reactivity which I don't normally do but it's a quiet field so yeah that was quite deep good seven inches or so happy days right this one sounds uh Sounds good. 88.
well worth getting out of that one. Pretty stable, nice high signal, nice and sharp. Right, let's have a look. I've had a musket ball since the last time we spoke and a battered penny or half penny, I can't remember. Looks Victorian. Hopefully this is something decent though. We're still in there. Mm, a bit deeper, good sign. Are we out? We're out. We're in here, I can see an edge. Yeah, what are you? You're not silver, that's for sure. Looks about farthing sized. I thought it'd be a coin. I was hoping for something a bit better. I can't make out much on that, but yeah, probably a farthing. Yeah, I'll clean it up. If I find out what that is, I'll let you know. Yeah, onto a bit of silver. Let's have a look. Just there. I wasn't expecting it really. It sounded decent, don't get me wrong, but it was not the perfect signal. There you go, what are you? Looks like a sixpence. Looks pretty smooth. Hey. Right, let me get my uh, macro lens out. Hang on. Right, I've given it a spray as well to see if that gets us any more detail. Come on camera, you can do it. Might be a bullet, you know, it's very thin. I can't make anything out on that. Oh, there he is. Yes. Little bullet. It's knackered, but it's a good little find and I'm happy with that. Hopefully there's some other ones that are in better condition, but... Yeah, can't complain. I've had some other things as well, I'll show you. Right, here's the other stuff. I had that, uh, what do you call it? Bloody hell, cartwheel penny. The Alzheimer's is kicking in. That I thought was interesting. Little weight with a bit of iron going through it. I wasn't sure if it was old or not, but the, the lead's really white, so it could be. This little, this little button with an interesting pattern on. So this stuff here is just, that's, it's just, there's just not lots of it. Uh, that's my musket ball. Uh, with a healthy smattering of crap amongst it as well. So, yeah, it's hard work, but um, it's better than being indoors, isn't it? So, it's not all bad. Right, let's see what else we can get before I've got to go. Yeah, it looks like we've got a Vicky here. Yeah. Nice signal. What's that say on there? 1873. There you go, nice and smooth, but not completely battered like most of them I find. Okay, I'm done. Uh, that was about six hours, seven hours overall. So it is quite a, quite a field, but still enjoyed it. Hope you did. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you later.